I want to ask him about life here in Croatia, the cost of living, the house rent, the everything and work out to find a job because most of my subscribers and viewers are always commenting and asking these questions everywhere I go. Of course. But sometimes guys if you can if you haven't seen such video in some countries i think i heard someone asking for yes someone just commented like few hours ago about life here in croatia i want to know the cost of living how to find a job yeah, everything yeah, yeah. so uh, so if you have been asking me of any country maybe i've passed and you haven't seen the video rest assured that i tried to make the video but maybe i couldn't be able to get the locals to be able to share more yeah. because i prefer to bring the locals with me it's more raw it's more you know they can share from their own point of view also i can learn and talking blah 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 in front of the camera but i prefer the locals to bring their testimony so that is why so mr man thank you for your time so what can you share with my community and viewers all over the world life here in croatia everything for someone to be able to leave yeah well, as a foreigner that's trying to yeah, come yeah, here yeah. to leave yeah makes sense okay uh the thing is it's a uh, it really depends on what your priority in life is life in croatia can be absolutely amazing okay the best place on earth to live in yes. or it can be hell it can be amazing if money is not your top priority you know yes uh unfortunately the Okay, so during the history, during like we've been a sovereign country for the past 30 or so years. Yes. And during the 90s and the early like uh, 2000s, uh, it was uh, economically it was really bad because uh, extremely high unemployment rates. Yes. Then in the meantime, we joined European Union, mm. and immediately when that happens, the floodgates open, you know, and okay. now the the job market has changed a lot so you can easily find a job okay uh at this point yeah for sure but uh even you man if you want like i'm here doing booking for the boat tours if oh you, yeah, nice if you, yeah, yeah yeah i didn't even know <laughs> good yeah, you're going to even share with my, us it's my office over there yeah oh blue cave booking yeah okay okay yep. cool so yeah the job you can easily find even you if you feel like staying here working for a couple months you can easily find that but the thing is and especially in dubrovnik man mm. the cost of living is so high compared to the wages that that's the reason why everybody is moving out uh dubrovnik at this point is basically just for the tourists you know because the locals unless they are working in tourism and renting stuff apartments both blah 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 basically it's not affordable to live here anymore you know it is very expensive very expensive i don't know if that's your experience here oh yeah no man it's expensive <laughs> yeah it's, it's expensive. fucking damn expensive yeah. dubrovnik is really expensive dubrovnik is basically the most expensive place in croatia though so if you go a bit more around our coast you're mm. gonna see uh, obviously, if you go to Split, Hvar, and all those famous spots, it's going to be expensive again. But some of the more like uh, unknown uh, places are going to be well expensive. So the point is, like we had, a, we had, a, how do you call that? Like uh, when they go around houses and they uh, write down all the population, you know? Yes. Uh, Census. Yeah. Like every ten years, you have that. So like ten years ago, we had 4.6 million people. Okay. And then last year, we had 3.8 million people in the country. So it's like 20% of the country moved out in the past 10 years, man. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, the reason is the fact that elsewhere in Europe, like personally, here I'm working right now, but the last couple of months I was living and working in the Netherlands, man. Okay. Because mm -hmm. if you want to make a good standard of living, Croatia is not necessarily, like I said, your place. But if you want to enjoy amazing nature, amazing mentality of people beautiful uh, like uh, community feeling and mm. just drinking coffee for four days and having fun with uh, your friends and like uh, not giving a fuck about life uh, too much then Croatia is the place for you you know it's okay. like uh, it's like a bit of a hedonist uh, hedonist uh, heaven okay but if you are if you want to if you are like an ambitious uh, person that wants to make a uh, great living for himself and his family or whatever then you're already moved to germany mm. netherlands ireland a lot of the people in the last couple of years and stuff like that yeah wow so that means the system the economic system is not that so okay but if you want to come like you want to really 
don't really care about money. life, money, <laughs> yeah. you just want to enjoy life and yeah. forget about with the Correct. little you have, then you can stay. Absolutely. So, uh, anyone who is ambitious is going how. <laughs> or except you have a big investment or your family is rich or your 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 family someone in your family was a, is a rich person basically, basically then yeah. you can stay you can drive this kind of porsche then you can uh, stay <laughs> you can yeah. start enjoying yourself here or the the trick is you have to you have to work in tourism if you want to survive in croatia okay you got to work in tourism you know here now i came back from the netherlands to work here because with this job i can actually make uh, good money compared to the netherlands you know okay. but with some other random job in a bakery or whatever in Dubrovnik, no you way. cannot survive. Yeah. So how much is the average salary? Average salary would be, I would say, maybe eight or nine hundred euros. Eight or nine hundred euros. A thousand is good, you know, if you have a thousand, it's decent, yeah. On decent. the other hand, in the, in the Netherlands, I was working the minimum wage job right now, and I was making 2.2 thousand euros per month, you know. Yeah, 2,200 so yeah, euros. so it's not really comparable. And yeah. how much is the house rent here in Dubrovnik? In like Dubrovnik. In the country, <laughs> Dubrovnik is very high. Honestly, I don't even think anybody is renting uh, apartments like uh, long term anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody is throwing out their long term tenants and just renting in day by day to tourists, you know, because that way they make a shit ton of money, you know. Ooh, so you cannot get, it's, it, it, it's very difficult to find an apartment in the city. People are throwing their grandmas on the street so they can, uh, so they can accommodate tourists, you know, yeah, yeah. No. This is this is a tourist. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to say a tourist trap, mm. because it's not. It's a really. It's like still a very genuine place, uh, genuine preserve, like you said, old town. You know, it's not yes. like um, Ibiza, Khan, uh, Mykonos, or stuff like that. You know, mm. that's a tourist trap for me. This is kind of on the way there, but still, if you go walk around the town, which I'm sure you did, yes, you can still get the really genuine, like uh, medieval uh, vibe, yeah, uh, true yeah, spirit. Yeah. You know, so, you know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Since I came in. For me, is Dubrovnik make it for me, make me to feel if now I was like a little bit like disappointed. They talk much about Croatia, so when I came, I was like, hey, when I was in the bus, seeing the the cities and towns we passed through, no, there was some cool side in the riverside, it's beautiful, but hey, I wasn't really that impressed. But uh, Dubrovnik, okay, save, save the, give you pass mark. No, uh, islands, man, you gotta go to the islands. Okay. The islands, by far, the best that we have to offer. Okay. For sure. So you if you're interested. We, is the islands we literally have more than a thousand of them yes like uh around 900 of them are not even inhabited you know Whoa. so it's basically untouched nature all around you have like 50 60 of them that where people live on like i said again Khvar is the first one that comes to the mind of people because it's the most like uh advertised one you know yeah, but there's a shit ton of them uh, everywhere around and all of them are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous wow so strong recommendation the islands is very so tough. like place like zagreb yeah. how much for the like for example the house rent there okay in zagreb i can answer because i've been renting apartments in zagreb for the past 10 years yeah so yeah yeah cool. I, i'm definitely familiar with that everything especially now we just entered the schengen zone we just got euro yes so everything immediately went even more up so at this point, if you want to rent like, uh, I don't know, 35 square meter apartment in Zagreb, you're going to have to pay around 400 to 500 euro per month. 400 to 500 yeah, euro per basically, month. Basically, If yeah. you want to get an apartment yeah. in Zagreb. If you want to... If you want to live, oh, this uh, this lovely gentleman might I'm be interested. Just listening. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, here, man, it's maybe like 700, you know. 700. Yeah, basically. Euro. In Dubrovnik, yeah, it's yeah. 700. I'm In Zagreb, it's sure, uh, yeah. 4 to 500. Wow. If you if you want to live with roommates, obviously, then you can get away with like 250 euro. But less than that, I don't think so. Yeah. Whoa. But that's just for a room, you know. Yeah. Wow, you have shared a lot with us, man. You have shared even look, even like. Almost in a way, uh, just abandon his business and to share with us, man. This guy deserves like and your subscribe because it's not easy. It's working there, so thank you for giving me your time welcome, to share man. because it My is pleasure. not easy because most people cannot do it. He's working and he's still sharing with us his wisdom to be able to help young people and students who are planning to come here for studies or live here or even for holidays. You are covered. Yeah, 99% so, uh, of the people who come here are going to come for holidays and not to live here realistically. Yes. 
and probably I didn't make the country a favor with this <laughs> with this interview when it comes to actually moving here. But I'm just realistic, you know. It, no, it is it's, what it it's is, a reality right? because yeah. if you my what I'm doing in my channel is realistic. That is why people sometimes I get a lot of insult because yeah. I'm the right person. Okay, okay, okay. So I am not because I don't want someone to say, that, "Hey, Joel, you lied to me." No, I prefer to be honest and be insulted because I am honest. Then after, when you see it, you will see that okay, ah, this guy was right. So we, we are just bossing his boss for nothing. I prefer that one. Of course. So let me, um, let me ask you. Let me ask you one more thing. Maybe you can do me a little bit of a favor. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, if it's possible. If not, I don't know. But uh, we have uh, amazing boat trips. And not only boat trips, like anything you can imagine. Uh, inland excursions to Bosnia, to Montenegro. Okay. You can rent uh, jet skis, uh, kayaks, uh, private boats, whatever you want. Yeah. So basically, if any of you guys is coming to Dubrovnik, maybe you can put my contact in the description or something, <laughs> and they I, can. I would not go away without say, saying that, man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, your yeah. contact is there. Yeah, I can give you. I will give you here. Okay, say it out. Say it out. Call the numbers. If it's a... Plus three eight five nine eight one seven four five nine seven seven. My name is Marin. Marin. I, I have the best boat tours for you guys. If you want to go snorkeling in the caves, if you want to go to some uh, adventures, yeah. unlimited drinks uh, for you guys, lunch on the boat, everything included. Wow. And it's quite affordable too. And like I said, the islands is where it is in Croatia, you know, so you got to yes. visit some How islands. much for, for like one of these islands to visit it or have this uh, everything? Yeah, if you want to go with the tour, like you, uh, the ferry, you can take by yourself for uh, five euros, you know, but if you want to uh, like on the tour, we basically visit three different islands in one day. Okay. Uh, so that one is 55 euros. 55 euros, yeah. but it, because it's more, more fun, more yeah. fun than the ferry, I also, guess. Oh, oh, of course, and you have a guide with you, you have drinks on the boat included, you have lunch on the boat included, and uh, you go like snorkeling in the caves, explore sandy beaches, they drive you to all the good spots, you know, and bring you back to the town in the evening, you know. Yeah? Everything is covered, food, yep. everything is covered, so exactly. that is very good. So, yep. shake him out, hey, don't Marin. Yeah, Marin. Marin, shake it, whenever you are in Dubrovnik, shake him out. Yep. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So please like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because this man deserves the like and the subscribe. And until then, see you on the next one. Ciao! I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.